While publishing a research article, the author can choose between open access or subscription mode. The open access papers are free to read like this, while if published in subscription mode, the entire paper is not accessible to the readers. And for reading or downloading such paper, either you must have institutional access to it or the reader need to pay a good amount of money for that. As you can see with this paper published in New Phytologist, where you have to pay up to $59 just for one article. Or in this Oxford journal where you have to pay $41 for a single day access. And similarly with this publisher where you have to pay over $35 plus taxes. And sharing such non-open access papers publicly is breaking the copyright law and might invite legal action. Therefore, many authors are afraid to share their research work with anyone. Hello and welcome back to research and publishing series of Explore Bio with Dr. Abhishek. And today, I will share with you one ethical way of getting research paper even if it is published in a subscription mode with no open access. And that too without breaking any copyright law. This method will definitely work for you if you have tried every other method. The important thing here is to remember that always go through the guidelines for article sharing first for that journal to be on the safer side. And this may vary from publisher to publisher. For example, here is the article share guidelines for Elsevier. And it says that all the preprints of the paper can be shared anywhere, anytime. But what is the preprint of a paper? So you can read it here. A preprint is unreviewed and unedited version of the manuscript which you upload before it gets published. And as it has no value added by the publisher or the reviewer, such as editing, formatting and other technical enhancement, it is not identical to the final published paper, but you get a major idea about the work. There are several preprint servers such as Archive, BioArchive and lot others where authors can upload their manuscript so that anyone can access it for free. Or what you can do is write an email to the corresponding author of the paper requesting for a preprint copy of that paper. This is the safest option to get and share the research papers for free. Paper once reviewed by the reviewer and accepted for publication can also be shared to the collaborators of the research group via institutional repositories or privately with the students and other researchers but not commercially or publicly. A final published article which is copy edited, formatted, technically enhanced by the journal publisher can also be shared. As you can read here, if you are an author, you can share the published journal article privately with known students or colleagues for their personal use. The published journal article should not be shared publicly for example on researchgate or academia.edu. To cut short, the entire story suggests that you can privately share your preprints, accepted manuscripts and published papers to the known students, researchers and collaborators for non-commercial use but should not be posted publicly. One should critically look at the article sharing guidelines of the individual publisher and what author-publisher agreement has been done. You can also check out these two video tutorials on how to easily find and download research papers absolutely for free. The links are provided in the description below. Go through my playlist on research and publishing, different AI tools for research, techniques, markers, plant tissue culture, nutrition and health and lot more. You might find these videos very useful. Comment below if this video has helped you. Thanks and see you in my next video.